As a beginning gardener, I always remember reading about carrots being a little bit more tolerant of shade than other crops. But as I started growing carrots in my own garden over the past several years, I started making observations that made me question what I had read before. But I'd never actually done a true side-by-side -side test until this year. In the fall, I planted two plantings of carrots in this elevated raised bed. One on this side, which had a little bit of shade from a nearby pepper plant, and one on this side, which had full sun. I actually thought the carrots underneath the shade of the pepper would do better because we planted at the end of the summer in really hot weather. But as I started to observe, I began wondering if I would actually get a better harvest out of the ones in full sun. I wasn't able to confirm this until I actually harvested the carrots in February. And today I'm gonna to show you the results of this side-by-side -side test. But make sure you stay to the end because I do believe that there are some climatic factors that made a difference in the results you see today. And understanding this may help you make a better informed decision on whether to plant your carrots in full sun or part shade. At first glance, it seems like there's nothing there, but as you see me clearing out the mulch, you see that there are some carrot tops below. All of the carrot tops don't always die off during the winter, but this year they did but I've been harvesting carrots every once in a while from this, so I knew they were still good. The key for me with fall carrots is to make sure they get to full maturity by the time my day length dips to 10 hours a day or less, because at that point they're not going to grow anymore. For me, that's about the end of November, and then pretty much they just stay in the garden for the rest of the winter, and my garden serves as sort of a root cellar or refrigerator for them in my 7B climate. I did add the shredded leaves on top because I wanted to give them a little bit of extra installation in some of our colder times, but last year they went through the summer even under snowfall and they were perfectly fine. In this bed, you see me harvesting from the carrots that did have a little bit of shade as I planted them. They were underneath a pepper plant, but the left side, as you're looking here, those carrots actually had a little bit more sun, but as you go toward the right side, those carrots had more shade. They were underneath that pepper plant more. So I thought it was really interesting to see if there'd be a difference in the size of the carrots that I harvested from the left side moving into the right side of this particular bed. Initially, I really did think planting these carrot seeds underneath the canopy of that pepper would be beneficial to them because when I planted them, it was still in the 90s, and very hot, and very dry, and I was really kind of worried that they would be able to establish themselves in the heat. But we're gonna see whether my theory was correct as I finish harvesting the section that was grown in the shade. Now, as I'm harvesting these, I do wanna point out too that when I began noticing that there was a discrepancy in the size of the carrot tops between these two areas, the, the shaded one and the sun one, I trimmed back the pepper so that I could add a little bit more light. And then eventually, of course, I took the pepper completely out. So these carrots actually did not grow in full shade for their entire growth. In fact, they probably only grew in that shade for maybe four weeks or so. I'm, I'm totally estimating that. But they weren't in full shade the entire time. I, I realized what was happening and I got them sun, but the question remained, did I get them sun fast enough? I knew I wouldn't be able to tell for sure until time came to harvest. That concludes the harvesting of the carrots that were grown in part shade, I would say. Let's go ahead and look at the carrots that were grown in full sun from the very beginning of the planting. I treated the side of the raised bed just the same, so I had to pull off the leaf mulch to get ready to harvest these carrots. And as I mentioned before, all of these were in full sun the entire time of their growth from the time the seeds were planted to now when they were harvested. If you are curious on the variety of carrots that these are, they are Danvers carrots. They have always been really good producers in my climate and in clay soil, which is what I tend to have in my regular garden. Although, as you can probably tell in this particular elevated raised bed, there was a heavy amount of compost, a little bit of topsoil underneath that. But for the most part, this bed is very loose, which is what carrots love. 
and I always get a better harvest of bigger carrots whenever the soil is loose like this. Already you can see a difference in the size of these carrots. There are a few small ones and that is to be expected. A lot of times the more thin ones are ones that I didn't thin appropriately. Usually about midway through the season I'll go through and I will take out the carrots that have germinated so well that I needed to have a little bit of extra space. I like to have between one to two inches between each carrot for them to grow to be their full size. But sometimes when I miss doing that, they will get a little bit bunched up and then that'll just yield a little bit smaller carrots. So that's probably the case in some of the carrots that you see they are a little smaller, but as you can tell overall, the size of these carrots are looking a lot bigger. Of course, as I harvested these carrots, I could tell that they were bigger and they were better quality carrots, but I wouldn't be able to tell for sure until I actually weighed them. Here is the final tally of my fall carrot harvest. For the carrots that were grown in part shade, they produced three pounds, nine ounces. For the carrots that were grown in the sun, they produced seven pounds, four ounces. So the ones that were grown in full sun pretty much doubled the weight of the ones that were grown in part shade. Honestly, those results surprised me a little bit. I kind of expected the carrots in full sun to produce a little bit better, but I was shocked at the discrepancy between the two. But here's what I think makes a difference in whether carrots will thrive in full sun or part shade. In my climate, I live in Arkansas in zone 7B in the southern U.S. I grow carrots in the early spring and in the fall. And those two times of the year, our days are shorter. So the carrots really do need as much sun as they can get. But for those of you who are in climates where you're growing your carrots more toward the middle of the summer, where your day length is going to be very long and you have plenty of daylight, I think in that case, carrots can tolerate a little bit more shade. You see, I don't grow carrots in the middle of the summer because they're more of a cool season crop here in our heat. That's why when I grow them in the shoulder seasons, day length and daylight is at a premium. So for me and my climate, I'm going to focus on planting my carrots in full sun for my spring and my fall plantings. But if you're planting in the middle of the summer, then you might consider a little bit of shade for these crops. If you've had experience with this, I would love to hear from you. Obviously, this is just one test, but for me, it was very enlightening and it's helping me to inform how I plant my carrots in the future. This was just an example of my fall carrots, but whether you're growing carrots in the fall or in the spring, check out this popular episode of the Beginner's Garden Podcast. It's episode number 177, and it's called Carrots, What Can Go Wrong? Besides sun or shade, there are lots of ways that you can make carrots work for you in your garden, and this episode will help you find out how.